Hello world, you're listening to Feel Good. I'm your host, Malika Lee, and today we have something a little bit different for you. So, you know, people always say how your actions speak louder than words. Well, as a part of our commitment to get people feeling good, uh, I got a couple friends, Emily and Debbie and I took to the streets with the intention of leaving everyone that we talked to on our path in a better place than we found them. And so you will be hearing some of our uh, adventures and some of the new friends that we met that we started calling part of the Feel Good Posse or the Feel Good Tribe as we went about our time in downtown Seattle. And if you'd like to see some of our shenanigans, you can go to my YouTube channel. It's just Malika Lee. And the video is called Feel Good Street Beat Edition. The first group of people we approached were actually working. They were outside at a booth in front of Westlake Mall. So we knew if we could make them feel good on a Saturday while they're working on the weekend, then we would be off to a great start and that we could leave anybody feeling better than we found them. On the scale from one to 10, where are you in feeling good? Zero being you feel terrible, 10 being I've never felt better. To be honest, I'm feeling like a seven. Okay. But I I'll probably feel like be like an eight. Minutes, you know? So <laughs> Jesus yeah. seven, right. he's an eight. eight. Okay. okay. Yeah. So which one shall we try on them? Try wait. Okay, that's what I was thinking too. Yes, you have. Okay, them. it's hey, all right. It. It's hey, all come innocent. Over here. Come it's over all here. innocent. Come over here. We're good. All right. Bubbles. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, we had a couple of tools, aka tricks up our sleeves to leave smiles on faces. Just a couple of things, some bubbles, smiles, genuine compliments, Mardi Gras beads, spontaneous generosity. You get the idea. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, we want you to feel better. You're at a seven. You want you to feel better. See? What's this? <laughs> we're social scientists. Yeah, we're feel good social scientists. Yeah, bro, just out experimenting it. and we are getting a, a pulse of where they were before we started. Where are so you? Where are you? Mm. <laughs> He's like, you I don't, don't know? You don't, do you not want to be your voice Car- recorded? It's just a care? voice recorded. It's, it's just, just a voice um, recorded. You mean as far as like how I feel? Yeah. yeah. Zero <laughs> being terrible, ten being awesome. I'm like a, I'm like a five. You're a five. A five. Right now. Okay. 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 Now that we had everyone's starting point of how they were feeling upon our meeting them, we commenced to blowing bubbles. So some people hung back, were a little shy, and and didn't partake. But as you'll hear, they didn't need to for that to impact their score of how they were feeling. I already told you, I'll be happy, I'll be cool, I'll be happy again, you know? So I'm like a a, a, a 10. You're a 10 right now? Okay. We didn't get you to blow bubbles. Do you want to blow bubbles? I don't have to blow bubbles. Right, I'm feeling better. He's feeling good. I, 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 I can get some Yeah. Yeah, this one. I hear Chris and you po high. As a feel good graduate. Keep Thank shining, you. brother. Thank you. Thank you, guys. We weren't the only ones downtown that day. Uh, making our mark and hopefully leaving people in a better place than we found them. We heard this wonderful music, and it turns out it was this one-man band. Literally every single limb of his body was contributing in some way to making this music, whether it was arms playing guitar, his feet were doing percussions, he was playing the harmonica, he was singing. So enjoy, and here's a little bit of his story. Yeah. This particular gig, gig for like three years now. Wow. Yeah. So people know you, I'm sure. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Well, I haven't heard you, and this was amazing. I enjoyed it, and thank you for getting me out there to get to dance a little. Okay? So that was just our first block. There was some learning along the way. We had some issues getting our bubbles open, and so we decided to just regroup, take a seat at the corner and get all of our tools together 
for further experimentation. Well, to show that we were all a collective, we had these bright pink matching shirts, which drew some attention. And it got the attention of a familiar face, one that um, used to be a big boss, the president of an organization that Debbie and I worked for. And so she came on over, her name is Lisa, and asked what we were up to. So we got her to play along. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Awesome. I love it. I know. <laughs> So far, the bubbles were a hit. And it's so interesting because Lisa shared that when she was having a really hard day at work when her son was little and he was about two, that she would go home and the way she would decompress is to blow bubbles with her son and that would make her feel better. And so it's so interesting that knowing her not very well, over all those years that just that moment in time of us running into each other brought about a personal connection in a way that we had not ever experienced at work before. And so it seemed across age, across class, across culture, that Bubbles was one thing that brought us all together. Is it Bubbles are or Bubbles is? Either way, you get the point. So we've only been out here for about, what, 20 minutes or so? And uh, yeah, I've been that. nervous, I'm not gonna lie, but people have been really, really friendly. Yeah, it's been nice. fun. It's been really great. I really enjoyed uh, the experience with those guys. <laughs> yeah, it's always yeah. 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 And then we ran into Max. I have all the money I need. Mm -hmm. Not all I want, <laughs> right. all yeah. I need. Yeah. Yep. I have a full stomach. Yeah. Shirt on my back. That's right. Yeah, that's right. Roof over my head. I have someone who loves me. Mm. Awesome. Would it happen to be this person it sitting would. next to you? And maybe yeah. many other people. Oh. And somebody who I love. Yes. yes. Case closed. You're right. You're that's bad a ten out of ten. Fun. Case closed. Awesome. But for being are a you organized or what do you got? Oh yeah. Yeah. You are organized. We are. Yes. We're, We're not just out alive. here to just You're do that. You're not just your name, What's your favorite Lindsay. color? <laughs> What's your favorite color? Yeah. Yellow. Uh-uh. What's your favorite color, Max? Red. red. Blue? Blue. Okay. blue. I was going to say red. Blue sky, just like the blue skirt you We hear Chris and you a welcome part of our feel good community. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> Come back, blue lady, come back, don't be blue anymore. So as you could tell, Max was a ray of sunshine. And I think he was on to something, just expressing his gratitude for what he already has in his life. Psychology Today has an article, and they say that there's seven benefits, life-changing benefits of having a gratitude practice. It opens up the door to more relationships. It improves physical health, psychological health. It enhances empathy and reduces aggression. They say great, grateful people sleep better. It improves self-esteem and mental strength. So as we could just see as Max, as an example, he you know, was a walking embodiment of feeling good. And it looks like gratitude is one of the ways to get there. So now our journey took us closer to Pike Place Market. We met this gentleman who was standing alone off near the overpass that looks over the uh, Highway 99. It looked kind of sad. And so we had started offering not just bubbles and the Mardi Gras beads, which you could tell Max loved. We gave him the blue ones. Uh, we started offering people just, you know, five minutes to share their story or say whatever was on their heart to say. And this gentleman uh, was sharing about the loss of a dear friend that just passed away. And uh, he took out 53 American soldiers out of the tunnel by himself. Really? Yeah, so Nixon said, come here, he, he probably might give him a medal of honor. Oh, that's, wow. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah, but he just died just here recently. He just died, what, recently, like in the yeah. last day or two? Uh, no, no, within three weeks. Oh, three that's weeks? Hard. Oh, that is tough. I'm really sorry for your life. Yeah, yeah, I'm so sorry. Yeah. Ricky Body. That was his name. 
what was his name? Ricky. Ricky, Ricky? Maddie. Oh, Ricky Maddie. Okay. So it sounds like you knew each other a long time. About 10 years. Okay. Yeah. yeah. We drank a lot of booze together. <laughs> yeah, he was a good guy. He was a good soldier. He was one. Today, when they train special forces, yeah. they use his techniques. Do they yeah, really? Yeah. I wish he's here right now. It's so interesting because some of my social scientists were hesitant to approach him. You know, generally there's a stereotype about guys not opening up and sharing their feelings. But he was so open and willing to admit and share his grief and loss of his friend. And so what a surprise uh, and a gift that he gave us by sharing some of his grief and some of his heart. My spidey senses then took me to this woman who was also in the park nearby that was sitting on a bench alone and wearing sunglasses. All ears, five minutes. Whatever you want to talk about. She started crying. You said you're sad. What's going on? I'm from Peru. Mm -hmm. And I drop everything to come here. And of course, meet my family and everything. But sometimes you just need to keep going, you know. But sometimes you feel lonely and you think if it's worth it or not. But that's what it is. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and maybe we were drawn to you to offer some support that we're not your family, but we're a sign that you're not as alone maybe as you think you are sometimes. Yes. You're welcome. Can I give you a hug? Is that yeah, okay? So hugs were not on the list when we embarked on our experiment for the day, but I, it just was in my heart and I felt it in my gut. And she hugged me. I was probably a stand-in for her mom or her auntie or someone that she wasn't able to hug and be reassured in Peru. I got the honor to be a stand-in in that moment. And I held her until she was ready to let go, which was about 20 seconds. Is there anything else that we can do for you at this time? No. Okay, can we leave you with a little something as a reminder that you're not alone, even physically sometimes when you feel alone? So what's your favorite color? Pink. Pink? Oh, that's nice. <laughs> So we hear, what is your name? With an N or L? N. You are a part, and it's pink like our shirt, so you are a part of our feel good sisterhood. God bless you and take good care, okay? Thank you very much. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. That moment with Noria was such a gift and one that I will never, ever forget. Loneliness is something that's been on the rise, they say, in the last 50 years, and they're calling it an epidemic. So many people feel left out or isolated regardless of their gender, their ethnicity, their religious affiliation. And I felt lonely before also. And what a gift to be able to have that moment of connection. All it took was to genuinely listen without any judgment. And that's something that I think we all can work towards. Something funny started to happen amongst the social scientists. We were all kind of nervous. And as our time progressed, we started feeling even better than we had when we started. This has been so fulfilling for me, you know, going around and just, I haven't been down in Seattle like this and usually it'd be kind of t intimidating, but I'm enjoying everything. I would never guess that because you're just so out there. Out like, there? Friendly and, and, well, thank you, yeah. but yeah, no, not no, normally. I get shy. Really? Yeah. I can be shy too. As we were bringing our afternoon of shenanigans, oh, excuse me, our social experimentation to an end, there was a guy that we had met earlier that was crossing our path again. Like I told you, we look like a defunct girl group with those pink shirts on. And so he thought that we were working together for something and offered us a signature for whatever we were up to, but we weren't taking signatures at that time. So 
Anyway, I thought of him because I had this idea of looking for creative people to share talents. And then lo and behold, Eric comes right on cue. Oh, I was just thinking about him. Who? I was thinking about you guys do him. need oh. a signature. Well, no. we want something else because one of our feel good things is finding someone to share their talent. Yeah. And I feel like you have a talent that you can share. I do. What is it? Uh, poetry, art, being oh. a dad, you name it. Okay, do you oh. have some spoken word or something that you yeah. have memorized? For sure, you guys okay. want it? Yeah! yeah. 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 And yes. you're like, oh dang, he's gone. She, she, she called it, yeah. She totally okay, did. cool. Yeah, let's do that. You guys ready? I'm yes. ready. Convert my hidden soul, continuously transforming the unrecognizable balance attached to misunderstanding what I know. Above a fraction of relevance, Disregarding required elements that linger below coincidental existence, significantly spoken and mysteriously mentioned towards warm behavior transmitted through the silent distance, I seek different dimensions and unusual strength that one has been given as new beginnings form a vision universally written. Thank you. Yes. Wow. That was wow. beautiful. Beautiful. You get some snacks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Snaps, snaps. yeah, the alchemist. <laughs> can we can we give this man a um, a necklace as yes. part of our our feel, our good, feel tribe? good? Yeah. We, uh, bubbles? What color? Yeah. yeah. Oh, my, bubbles, my daughter loves bubbles, dude. Okay. Yeah. Can you no can you idea. blow some? Can you blow some with us? Yeah. Before we go? Totally. Yeah. Let's all blow yeah, bubbles. Yeah. Let's blow some bubbles real quick. I love that. He's like, you got bubbles. He got excited. <laughs> so excited. Hey, that's why we brought him. You guys lifted my spirits in ways I couldn't have even imagined. Oh, really? Well, thank you. Thank you, Eric. you did the same. These bubbles are going to be gone by tomorrow. <laughs> awesome. She's going to spill them on the carpet. But, uh, oh, hey, that's okay. Only two. Whatever. Okay, that's yeah, right. Take good care. Eric. Right, yes. Appreciate you guys. Yeah, yeah we appreciate, appreciate you. you. Thank you so much. God Blessings. bless you. Blessing. Bless yes. Bye. But this has just been the best day ever. Yeah. I yeah. Push myself. Okay, so there you have it, the best day ever, right out of Debbie's mouth. So I encourage you, try this at home. We are no different than anybody else. Anybody can go to the dollar store and get some bubbles and Mardi Gras beads, that's what we did, and set out with the intention and make time to genuinely lift people's spirits. And what ended up happening is that it lifted our spirits in ways that we couldn't even anticipate. So I'd love to hear if you take to the streets. And if you want me to come to your city, give me a shout out. I'd love to come and, and spread this. Like I said, Feel Good isn't just a podcast, it's a movement. Thank you so much for listening. And I hope this has left you feeling better than you were when the podcast first began. And until the next episode, keep smiling, keep shining, knowing you can always listen to me for sure. <laughs> That's what podcasts are for. <laughs> As always, you can follow me on Instagram at Ms. Malika Lee. My YouTube channel, Feel Good, is also available on Spotify, iTunes, through Google Play, and other major podcast outlets. Please share it with your friends and get some matching pink or yellow t-shirts and hit the streets and tag me on Instagram so I can see you all in action.